What's up? Tips for better privacy and security. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can actually find out the best privacy and security settings to better protect our identity on WhatsApp. So make sure to stick with me till the end. Now I'm going to discuss a couple of settings that I might think is also useful to you. First of all, you want to open up WhatsApp, then tap the three dots option here and then just go to settings, right? So once we go to settings, one of the options that we have here is known as privacy. So make sure to tap on privacy here. Now, the very first thing is the last scene and online status. So basically, if you want to hide your last scene from someone, you can choose to not enable it by selecting it nobody. And also when you're online, you can set that to the same as last scene as well. So that is the first settings. The other is read receipt. So sometimes you might not want people to know that you have read their messages. In that case, you can just turn off read receipt. But at the same time, you will also not know if the other person has read your messages. So this basically works both ways and it has to work both ways. The other here is disappearing messages. If you want better privacy on WhatsApp, you can choose your messages to be disappeared. Maybe after a couple of hours, you send them depending upon the time you'd like, which is 24 hours, seven days or 90 days here. The other settings that we have here is live location. If you want to uh, go ahead and then turn on live location, you can go ahead and then share your location with some people. Now, if you want to silence unknown callers, which means they are not added in your context, they call you, you want to silence them. You can choose to turn on silence unknown callers over here and just turn this feature on over here. If you come back, you can also choose to fingerprint lock. And one of the most useful features that I can find over here is right at the very bottom, which is called to protect your IP address in calls. So what this basically does is that whenever you're on a call with someone is going to protect your IP address, they're not going to be able to track you, which means it is going to give a random IP address to that particular person whenever you're on a call. Remember that this could actually lower the quality of your video call or audio call, but as a result, this is also going to get your job done. So these are simply some of the tips that you can use for better prep privacy and security on WhatsApp. If this video was helpful, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down. Thank you for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video.